Hello, my name is Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take the next five to seven minutes to talk with you about benign enlargement of the prostate gland and the treatment using the green light laser. I will discuss with you the problem of the enlarged prostate gland, the signs and symptoms, and a little bit about the effective use of the green light laser in treating this common condition. The prostate gland is a walnut-sized organ which is located beneath the bladder which allows and supplies the fluid to the semen to nourish the sperm. As a man gets older, for reasons not entirely known, the prostate gland enlarges and as it enlarges, it compresses the urethra, making the passage of fluid or urine from the bladder through the urethra, through the penis, to the outside of the body difficult. Usually benign enlargement of the prostate gland begins around the age of 40 and becomes symptomatic around the age of 50. The reasons for the growth of the prostate gland around middle age is not entirely known. By the age of 80, nearly 80% 80 of all men will have symptoms of benign enlargement of the prostate gland. Benign enlargement of the prostate gland offers symptoms in many older men and affects nearly 14 million American men. The symptoms of enlargement of the prostate gland include frequent urination, getting up at night to urinate, a decrease in the force and caliber of the urinary stream, urgency of urination, occasional burning on urination, blood in the urine, and may cause recurrent urinary tract infections. The treatment of the enlarged prostate gland includes watchful waiting if the symptoms are very mild and not very disabling or impacting a man's quality of life. There are drugs that are available that can actually shrink the prostate or relax the muscles in the prostate making urine flow much easier. There are minimally invasive therapies using microwaves. The gold standard is the transurethral resection of the prostate that has been used for nearly 75 years. And now there is a new treatment called laser vaporization of the prostate which includes the green light laser therapy which I will be discussing. And finally there are surgical solutions for enlarged prostate that require hospital admission, hospital stay, and uh, recovery times in excess of four to six weeks. The green light laser therapy was developed in 2003 and 2004. This is a minimally invasive therapy performed with a small fiber that transmit the laser energy to the prostate and it heats up the prostate and actually vaporizes the prostate gland allowing the easy transmission of fluid from the bladder to the outside of the body without obstruction. The green light laser combines the effectiveness of the gold standard which is the transurethral resection of the prostate but has fewer side effects. There are less side effects including erectile dysfunction, bleeding which is very common with transurethral resection of the prostate. The green light laser is performed in the hospital outpatient one day stay setting or in a surgical center. Typically, most men do not require to remain overnight in the hospital following treatment of the procedure. However, you should have someone drive you home after the procedure as you do receive an anesthetic during the procedure. Now what should you expect? regarding the green light laser therapy. Before the treatment begins, you will be given a, some medication to help relax you during the procedure. 
you also receive an antibiotic prior to the procedure and you will want to take the antibiotic for several days after the procedure as prescribed by your physician. You will receive an anesthesia, usually a general or a spinal anesthetic that will allow you to sleep during the entire procedure. At the end of the procedure, the physician may insert a catheter for a few hours or up to one day and the catheter is usually removed on the first post-operative day. Most men usually go home right after the procedure, usually several hours later. The catheter is left in place at the end of the procedure and is either removed in the recovery room or the next day. Most men experience immediate relief of their difficulty with urinary symptoms right after the catheter is removed. Men may experience some mild discomfort such as slight burning on urination and a small amount of blood in the urine for a week to 10 days. You also may experience some frequency and urgency of urination which usually resolves over time. There are several advantages of the green light laser therapy because it allows the rapid return of urine flow immediately after the catheter is removed. Most men can return to normal activities within a few days after the procedure. The procedure is long lasting and most men do not have to have a repeat procedure. Less than 1% of men who have the green light laser will experience erectile dysfunction. The the advantage of the green light laser is it requires little or no catheterization. It's an outpatient procedure and more than 200,000 of these procedures have been performed in the United States and throughout the world. The risk of the green light therapy includes blood in the urine for a short period of time after the catheter is removed. Some men may experience some bladder spasms or frequency of urination and some men may have some urgency of urination and occasional burning for a few days after the catheter is removed. You should contact your physician if you experience a large amount of blood following the procedure and after the catheter is removed or if you see bright red blood coming out of the urethra. If you experience chills or fever greater than 101 degrees, certainly contact your physician. In summary, benign enlargement of the prostate gland is a common condition affecting millions of American men over the age of 50. The symptoms of enlargement of the prostate gland are frequency of urination, urgency of urination, getting up at night to urinate, and sometimes straining to empty the bladder. Treatment is effective for benign enlargement of the prostate gland, and green light laser is one effective treatment option you might want to consider. Thank you.